Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GD match results of a female gorilla, a western lowland gorilla uh, from uh, the Congo who is from the Universitat Pompeu Fabra, which I think is a university in Spain. This is what she is predicted to look like. With my Nashakotu, she is predicted to have dark brown color eyes, sub Saharan African snub shaped nose, and black hair. For my eye shape predictor, she is also predicted to have, uh, as you can see, sub Saharan African eye shape. And you can see the prediction that YSEC is giving for her, also looking quite. Uh, dark skin, dark hair, dark eyes. She does not have blue eye haplotype 1 or any of the blue eye haplotypes that follow uh, in Oka2 and Herc2 region and she does not have East Asian EZAR mutation. Uh, what's interesting is that she actually has some light coloring variants that are implicated in light coloring of skin, eyes and hair in humans uh, in TIRP1 uh, in the gene near SLC45A2 in TIR in SLC24A4 and in Oka2. Uh, and marked in red is actually one pretty important variation in OCA2 that's implicated in eye color. If you've been keeping up with my channel and if you've been looking at various monkeys that I've been analyzing on this channel, uh, you will see a pattern where gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans, all kinds of apes and monkeys as well mostly score sub-Saharan African. Uh, if a calculator includes a sub-Saharan African category, the gorillas and the chimps and the mo various monkeys are going to score this sub-Saharan African category and we see this here with Eurogenes K13 looking very sub-Saharan African in the result. Uh, this is what she is scoring, this is what Dolly is scoring with MDLP K16. Uh, you see she's scoring 81.4% Ancestor and Ancestor is actually a component that was originally meant to represent um, represent Neanderthals and uh, various archaic hominids in Europe. However, uh, it's ir ironic, quite ironic that uh, this component actually peaks in Johuan people who are South African hunter-gatherers. And because this gorilla is scoring mostly this component, she's getting more of the mostly as Johuan with the oracle. Uh, this is what she's scoring with MDLPK23B. And here we can really see that uh, she's very similar to this in, in terms of in terms of the groups, the closest group to her is Archaic Human, and it's not necessarily a Neanderthal group, because Neanderthal score that plus Archaic African, which she doesn't really score. Uh, Archaic Human seems to be a representative of drift that's unique to gorillas and various monkeys in general, because monkeys tend to score mostly this category. Uh, with Eurogenes K36, once again, mostly scoring Pygmy, and with Ephio Helix K10, which is a calculator specifically designed for Sub-Saharan Africans, you can see she's scoring mostly Hoisan and various Pygmies. Um, well, these are the closest groups, these are the closest human groups to various gorillas, uh, monkeys, and, you know, Neanderthals, in general, non-humans, in terms of genotype. Uh, and with Gidrosia K3, once again, you can see she's scoring 87.6% Sub-Saharan African, overwhelmingly Sub-Saharan African in the result. And with Ancient Eurasia K6, once again, we can see the same pattern. And this is not just this gorilla, this is every gorilla that I've made a video on. It is also every chimpanzee and um, orangutan. And probably any non-human is going to score mostly Sub-Saharan African with uh, GED match calculators. Now we'll be taking a look at her traits with my genome analyzer tool. So choose file, uh, open our gorilla. Where is our gorilla? This is our gorilla. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what kind of traits our gorilla has. Uh, she's got GG here, which means worry, um, warrior genotype in combed. And TT here meaning higher dopamine level. So this is the warrior genotype in MAOA. So she's got warrior genotype in Compt, but warrior genotype in MAOA. These kinds of, uh, these two genotypes contradict each other. So she's got, um, she's got more of the Compt enzyme, but less of the, of the, of the MAOA enzyme. Uh, doesn't have any of the no-go learning variants in drd 2s pro in pro variation, uh, which by the way, if you've been paying attention to my videos, you've seen baboons, you've seen a baboon and a macaca, and they both had two no-go learning variants in this variation, which is pretty interesting. I was surprised to see that. Um, is, you know, not expected, not an expected genotype to see uh, having a baboon or macaca scoring this super European kind of genotype here. Uh, but this gorilla doesn't have it, and gorillas and, and chimps, from my understanding in general, don't have the the no-go learner variant in profinancy pro, pro variation of DRD2. Uh, she's got GG here, which is the typical genotype for most. What, what I really want to see is this, TAC1. Uh, this is a very interesting um, variation to look for when you look at gorillas or monkeys or Neanderthals because they tend to have AA here. They tend to have the atypical 
A1 genotype or A1 variant. Uh, most humans, like me for example, like probably you, most humans have GG in this variation, which means A2, A2 genotype, but this gorilla has AA, which actually means A1, A1. And a lot of, well, most Neanderthals have AA as well. And um, I think every monkey that I've looked at so far, like every baboon, um, chimp, um, orangutan, they all had AA or A1A1 in this variation of DRD2, which greatly reduces the amount of dopamine D2 receptors in the brain and is definitely not a typical human genotype. We're going to skip all that. What about this TT here, which is a typical genotype for most humans? The implications of the genotype is that the individual does not have long form 5 HTT LPR and does not have a decrease in the risk of depression. Well, uh, this is pretty typical genotype for humans not to have um, long form 5 HTT LPR. Most humans have short form 5 HTT LPR and slightly higher risk of depression, but actually not me. Uh, I'm actually the exception to the rule because I have. Uh, long form 5-HTT LPR and therefore a much lower risk of depression. It's pretty rare actually. You don't, you don't see that very often. Um, for the empathy gene, for okay, for the lactose persistence, does not have European lactose persistence, nothing surprising here. Uh, not even a human, let alone a European. For OXTR, the empathy gene, GG here, which means two variants for higher levels of empathy. And AA here, which means two variants for higher levels of empathy. Interesting stuff. Uh, well, I, I think I think gorillas might have their own um, variations that influence empathy because this is a, this is one of the variants variations that inf and genes that influence empathy in humans. But I wonder if gorillas have like their own little thing uh, that's separate from OXTR that has to do with empathy. But interesting. So she not a sociopath by human metrics, not a sociopath for diabetes. Uh, She's got CC here, which leads to a seven-fold decrease in the risk of type 1 diabetes. Doesn't have type 1 diabetes. In fact, I don't think gorillas have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. I've never heard, like, gorillas uh, requiring insulin shots in zoos. Never encountered that. Maybe some of them do. I don't know. Uh, hemochromatosis. Not a carrier. Not a carrier. Not a carrier. Doesn't have any of the hemochromatosis variants. What about Alzheimer's TT here? Well, for Alzheimer's, the main two vari variations that are the most important are these two that are in the very first two. Uh, they are APOE gene, um, and she's not genotyped for this, so we can't really tell. But from my experience dealing with gorillas, chimps, various monkeys, they don't really have the Alzheimer's APOE mutations. These, these mutations seem to be a human trait. For myopia, AA here, which leads to slightly increased risk of myopia. Well, every every human has AA here. AA here, which leads to a decrease in the risk of myopia. And AA here, which once again means a decreased risk of myopia. Okay. Um, I don't think gorillas have myopia. I don't think there's any gorillas who have myopia. Myopia might be a uniquely human trait as well. Myopia, in case you don't know what it is, it's uh, me being nearsighted. Like, I can't see... Uh, very far in the distance. I gotta like use glasses to see like even the computer screen. So that's that's kind of myopia. That's what it is. Uh, CC here, which means no micro. Okay, I, I can't say that on YouTube, but you can read what it says. Uh, you can read what it says. Um, GG here, which means does not have the same thing. Once again, you can read what it says on the screen. Micro. I wonder if I can zoom in. Yeah, that. So you can you can read what it says on the screen. Uh, does not have this. Good. Uh, TT here, which leads to sl a smaller cranium and lower IQ. <laughs> CC here, which leads to uh, higher IQ, and AA here, which means eight points lower IQ than individuals with the GG genotype. Okay. Um, <laughs> interesting. Uh, gorillas aren't really known for their intelligence, so you know it's okay. <laughs> um, AA genotype here, which means two fat gene variants in FTOs, RS99, 609. Interesting. Uh, for drug response, CC here, which means significantly less likely to gain weight if taken olanzapine. CC here, which means significantly more likely to gain... So basically, uh, most humans are a lot more likely to gain weight if they take Zy Zyprexa. But in the case of this gorilla, uh, she seems to be a little bit resistant from weight gain um, resistant to weight gain, weight gain from Zyprexa. 
that's what I'm seeing here because she only has this one genotype here which means significantly more likely to gain weight and everything else seems to be less likely to gain weight. For albinism and the typical traits, not a carrier of acutaneous albinism type 2, not a carrier of tyrosinase albinism, not a carrier, not a carrier, not a carrier, not a carrier. Th okay, it doesn't have any human uh, variations for albinism. Interesting. And she is also not a carrier for this uh, Melanesian blonde hair variant. Yeah, I, I actually added this to my tool, um, to my little albinism and atypical traits panel because I thought it was pretty cool. It's definitely an atypical trait to have this Melanesian blonde hair variant in tier 1. And it's actually not a part of my Nashakot calculation for phenotypes. So uh, maybe if Nashakot misses it, I can make up for it with my tool, with my panel, and um, give a more accurate prediction. So that's pretty much all there is to this gorilla. You can download her genome in 23andMe format from link, which is in the description. Check out my site uh, where you will find this trait predictor. And um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Goodbye.